is it's a brand new trailer, no rivets, um, flat panel, so it's gonna make for a really, really clean install. We're gonna do what we call a seamless install on this, and basically what we did is we paneled our panels out um, to the seams, so I'm gonna trim on that seam. We're gonna have virtually no overlays, well, no overlays whatsoever around this entire trailer because we're going seam to seam to seam, so it'll flow, um, and it's gonna, it's gonna look like paint. Um, it's gonna turn out really, really nice. What I'm doing now is I'm I'm doing some detailed cut work around around some handles and around some wheel wells. And what you want to do, or what I'm trying to do, is be careful not to cut too much off. So I don't want to see any white in between this black handle and the in the print. So what I do is I overcut it just a little bit. Just when I tuck it down, it leaves enough material to get down there, and I don't see a little white line that kind of stands out like a sore thumb. And then when you get to the wheel wells, I'm, I'm doing the same thing. I, I pre-cut with a lot of excess, so that allows me to come back and tuck down to that wheel well. And then I can go back and do my, my finished cut, and so everything's nice and, nice and detailed. And one other thing on enclosed trailers that we have to deal with is, is caulking. Um, you know, some trailers are worse than others, but right here, there's a, there's a nice a nice line of white caulking which vinyl doesn't stick to. So what I'm gonna have to do, what I'm leaving all these tails around the edge, when I'm done, I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna line it out and I'm gonna make nice little cut lines right next to that caulking because the vinyl won't stick to it so I gotta keep it off that so there will be a little white going around the perimeter of the trailer. But other than that, everything else is going really, really good. got knifeless tape so um, I'm just gonna pull my knifeless which cuts the vinyl on the outer edge and then I'm going to pull the cap sheet off the 3M 2080 and you'll see what that is when I do it. That was pulling the cap sheet off of 3M 2080 material, which gives you a nice, clean finish, unscratched, glossy black when you're done with it.